My name's Jill. I live in Forest Row, which is in East Sussex in England. And uh, I paint in this attic because it's a good place to paint. I make uh, quite large landscape paintings. They're kind of contemporary, um, a bit Art Nouveau, a bit expressionist, whatever you call that. <laughs> Very wetting to wet, as it's called. It's uh, sort of lots of oil paint, lots of oil, and um, quite a lot of experimental techniques. I'm showing this as an example of, of what I usually paint on these they're called wide edge canvas, um, for obvious reasons, because they don't need framing, so they look, you know, it remains looking quite contemporary. I have an, a, a degree in fine art, in, in sculpture, but, also, but I'm pretty much self-taught as a painter. I spent years as a, a painting portraits, animal portraits, which was very good because it gave me a, 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 a classical type way of painting, which I still use when I paint wildlife in the paintings. I still use that training. Um, and I've sort of combined it with a more contemporary, um, bit more wacky style as well. Uh, the painting process I use is one I've sort of developed over a, quite a long period of time, as all artists do, you get your own style after a while. But it's very much, um, I like to walk, I really like to walk in the countryside. I'll go out and I'll, I'll do, make little sketches and I'll take photographs. And, but mostly I'll just watch things and I'll see things that interest me and I'll, I'll look through trees and I'll see viewpoints that I like and things that... Um, make me happy <laughs> and, uh, and I go out maybe you know, two or three times a week just to uh, I've, you know just go out and, and look at the countryside and things that I see in different areas and then I come home and I might do a little sketch um, or I might look at photographs but mostly I, I try and recapture what I liked about something from memory which is why my landscapes are not really you know they're not very often of actual places. Sometimes they are, but usually they're, they're, they're kind of made up. But they, I do try and capture the the, the echo or the, or the feeling of a place that I've been to. And uh, people do recognise it when you know, they, they talk to me about, oh, I like this painting because it reminds me of blah, blah, place. It's nice because it doesn't constrict me in any way. It's like I've got years of, as I said, uh, painting, painting animals and portraits and this sort of thing. So that's useful combined with um, a very good imagination. People can see my art mostly online. Um, that's a sign of modern times is that you can see it online. I do have people, I invite people to come and look at them in, in the house because that's where I keep most of my paintings. Um, and I sometimes do exhibitions like I might do Brighton Festival or something like this. But mostly it is online, um, but people are welcome to come and view them. Uh, my future goals are to just keep <laughs> keep doing what I am doing and see where I end up. Where I end up. Um, I'd like to encourage more artists to do what they do. I'd like to promote causes that I think are good, like anti-drug causes and wildlife. As a personal goal, I want to paint something that's so good that I like it so much that I want to disappear into it. And uh, there's always been a goal, just disappear into a painting one day. <laughs> There is a message I'm trying to forward with my paintings and that is that we live in a very beautiful country uh, and a very pretty planet generally and we need to appreciate it. Kind of I'm trying to make people appreciate where they are and what, what we have and what is still here and, and stop people building over it and dumping trash in it. <laughs> and also I love wildlife, I love animals and I think that's what comes across in the paintings. Um, so that's the main thing, is that I'm trying to forward the whole appreciation of how beautiful the countryside is and how we need to look after it. But also, I'm trying to encourage people to go and walk. Um, I've recently started to, when I do go on a walk, which is inspired a painting, I'll put the actual postcode of the place where I, where I parked and I'll tell people where to go to try and see the kind of things I was looking at when I did that painting. And I'm hoping, I'm just encouraging people to go and explore and, and, uh, and get as much of it, you know, as much fun out of walking as I do. But I want other people to do the same. I think if you go out and you look at how beautiful your surroundings are, you're far more likely to look after them. <laughs>